Now this video is a bit important for anyone who wants to make a video on her, but for the most part she will flag you down if she finds you not transformative enough. Clearly this woman does not understand what transformative is and therefore uses it as an excuse to false flag a good friend of mine, Bazfiz. I can't pronounce his YouTube name so forgive me if I get it wrong. But the point is is that this woman who went to learn self defense from Rush V so called MRA gang rape party is in fact a false flagger and therefore she needs to be exposed for the false flagger that she is. Now this video is a bit different for two reasons. One, I have to explain with extreme detail on what transformative is which includes the four basic factors of fair use. And two, I'm exploring Hot Pink Sun's channel as a whole to explain to her that her excuse to flag down Fazbiz is just a cover up to give her an excuse and show to her fans to at least see both sides of the story. So I'm exposing her as the liar she is. That being said, let's begin. Hi pals! Alright, so today it's not going to be my usual video. I can't promise that there will not be more videos like this in the future because like, lord knows the type of people that you have to deal with on the internet. Whew. Oh lordy lordy, please help this woman deal with the criticisms! I've been having to have this experience. <laughs> the past couple days, that's, that's what I'm going to call it. About a month ago, I uploaded a video called Rush V, Return of the Kings, Toronto's Response, something like that. I knew what the response was going to be. It was going to be a bunch of people who were supporters of Rush V come over to that video and be like, fuck you, die. Like, I knew <laughs> what the aftermath of that video was going to be. This well, your video is poorly researched, not to mention filled with a couple of ad hominem attacks. And to say that only Rush V supporters or those evil MRAs is going to attack you is a bit of a stretch. YouTuber named Bassfiz, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, I'll put it here, took that video and put it within a video of his and then was basically just like shaking his head in between clips. I Which is about two times he did that. And in the rest of the videos he pretty much explained his stance. You can watch the original video and who knows, maybe I will mirror Bassfit's video on my channel if I get the permission to do so. I didn't think it was transformative enough to be considered fair use. It's not transformative enough? Do you even know what transformative is? Allow me to explain. Under the law, transformation is a possible justification that is used a copyright work may qualify as fair use i.e. a certain use of work does not infringe its holder's copyright due to the public interest of the usage. For example, making a video response to someone's work or making a parody of something that may be a movie or a video game. That being said, if you watch the original video, he clearly has stated his opinions clearly with the exception of two parts where yes, he was silent and shaking his head. But for the most part, it is transformative to enough to fall under fair use. However, seeing that YouTube has once again became corrupted with the whole copyright bullshit, which oddly enough I'm not affected, at least not too badly. However, you took advantage of this situation and now you made yourself a bigger target than before. So explain how Bassfit's video is not transformative enough because you know you should know the basic principles of fair use. And I was like, that's fine, I'm just gonna file a copyright claim. I told him I was gonna file a copyright claim. I did that because I just thought he was stealing my content. We can argue until we're blue in the face about if that equates to fair use, but I didn't think it was transformative enough. You think it's not transformative enough because of what factors? Once again, I ask you, do you understand the four laws of fair use? So I filed the claim. I had to wait a month for it to go through. YouTube sends me like this email back just saying like, Please further explain why you think you should uphold this claim. They need to make sure. So I like typed them some long ass shit about why basically it's like what I told you. I some long ass shit is not an answer. If you're flagging someone down because he wasn't transforming enough and you don't explain why he isn't transforming enough, then clearly not flagging him down for that reason, but rather you barely understand what fair use is. I think it's taking away views from my channel. How the fuck do you even know that? 
Hell, I seen your channel. I seen the amount of views for about three months, and you have an average view count between 800 to 2,000 views. Now keep that in mind. That's just an estimate. But before that, you had videos that are over 6,000 views, meaning that your decline in views had nothing to do with Bazfiz. If anything, he's giving you more views during the past three months you've been on YouTube because of that one video. Sure, it doesn't beat your other videos, but you can't deny that Bazfit has given you more videos in one video. Go right ahead, check her videos. Look up her video condom challenge, then compare it to her other videos before it. And I cited the Ray William Johnson case um, versus Jukin Media, and I was like, it's not transformative enough. It goes through like a week later, and then this Bass Fizz character posts this video being like, Where is the fair use? and starts this rant about how he's had an awful week. Whatever, like, I sympathize with your awful week. But he basically sends his followers to attack me. Because what you did was shitty of you. Again, you clearly do not understand the four laws of fair use, let alone the meaning of transformative by law. Which is just like, not a cool thing to do. And he does this by saying that I filed the claim because I don't agree with his political opinions, which is bullshit. We had a talk in the comment section or whatever. That's fine. You like, agree to disagree. Like, chill, you know? So his followers were sending things in my inbox like, I hope you get raped, you need to be raped, feminism is your only disability, you're not disabled, you're just a feminist. Well, what do you expect? You false flag someone and you expect to be silenced? I'm not condoning the harassment, don't get me wrong, but you still had it coming. You're a retard feminist, like shitty things, which I really don't understand if you're someone who claims to support empathy or equality of the treatment of people if this is how you want your followers to respond to a situation that is really between two people, right? Like, I file a claim, it goes through, you're pissed about it, you should message me and say, hey, how can we resolve this? You expect his fans to just sit down and wait like good little children? No, they're going to speak out against your shitty behavior. This applies for anything in real life. You get accused of raping people, you're going to be shown on how much of a shitty human being you are. This isn't My Little Pony Land where could, we could just hug and play nice. Personally, I didn't trust him to take down the content because I already gave him that opportunity, but I was like, whatever. Even though, once again, you don't explain to him or anyone at the matter on how it's not transformative enough. You can't just make a claim. You need fucking proof. Gonna remove the strike because I don't want to fuck up your channel. I didn't know that copyright strikes, if they go through, really fuck up someone's channel. Like, well, at least you admit that. Like, you lose the ability to post 15 minute or longer videos, the ability to do podcasts, like live streams and thumbnails and um, like crowdfunding. Like, I wouldn't want that for someone's channel. Like, I don't want to fuck up anyone's platform. I found out all the shit that they did to his channel. I was like, not cool with that. And I was like, okay, whatever. Gonna remove the strike. If you don't remove the material that I believe that you've stolen from me, I'll just make the copyright claim again. But once again, you're not going to explain on how it's not transformative enough. Dear Lord, I'm just repeating myself at this point. We'll have to like wait another month for it to go through again or whatever. So he removed the material. Cool, whatever. Problem solved. Like, like done, right? No. Even though he's put like resolved brackets on the title of this video. There are still people who are coming to my channel to attack me and send me harassing things. Again, what do you expect? You abuse the system regardless on your lack of knowledge of the copyright strike effect. Because there was a disagreement between two people. What I've learned from this situation is that while I don't think that you're responsible for the actions of every single person who follows you, especially if you have like 20,000 followers, like obviously you're not gonna know every single one of those individuals unless you publicly denounce that behavior, especially if someone's addressed it to you, which I've addressed it to him. I was like, hey, people who are following you have said some really deplorable shit to me. How are you gonna respond to that? And no answer, obviously. Because what makes you think that these people are gonna listen to him anyway? You can tell people all you like that they need to stop harassing and there will still will be people going after you. 
Like I stated before, your actions alone made you a bigger target than before. You need to speak out against these types of behaviors. And personally, I'm just going to put it out there. If you are someone who would tell anyone, regardless as to if you disagree with them or whatever type of fight that you've had or regardless as to what they've said that can be shitty, if you're someone that would say in response to that situation, I hope you get raped, you need to be raped, you make fun of them for having a disability, you make fun of them for their race, you make fun of them for whatever, use whatever slander against them that's just like inappropriate and disgusting language, I'm not about you. We're not, we're not pals. Like, I don't want you to be part of this community that I'm trying to form here on YouTube. Then get out. That's the message of today, folks. And I would like to hope that there are no people who are subscribed to my channel and watching my videos who would say this type of shit to someone. But again, I don't know, you know, no idea. So you get the point. I don't think it's cool to harass people on the internet. If you think that people should be treated equally and with respect and with empathy like you tout yourself to, then you need to practice what you preach, and if you don't, then you don't really believe those things. But you're not going to say the same for someone like, for example, a pedophile, an accused rapist, or, of course, Rouge V. Maybe you should practice what you preach, lady. So I'm going to need to end the video here, but we need to discuss the four laws of fair use because it needs to be shown. Now, I'm going to make it short so that way we won't be here for an hour. So the four laws of copyright, or rather the factors, are 1. The purpose and character of your use. 2. The nature of the copyright work. 3. The amount and substation of the portion taken. And 4. The effect of use upon the potential market. Let's start with 1. The purpose and character of your use. Now, Bass's video is all about Rouge V's and Hot Pink's video. Basically, he discusses the events going down with Rouge V and how these women, or I guess Rouge V, want to train other women to defend themselves so that way when Rouge V comes to legalize rape, then they can beat the shit out of him and then he criticizes Hot Pink's video. So that's the nature of the video. Nothing wrong there, so let's go to step two. The nature of the copyright work. Since this video is a response to someone else and it's not fictional, therefore this one is sound. 3. The amount of substantiality of the portion taken. Now, Bazfit's video is around 18 minutes and 30 seconds, but he wasn't using her clips until somewhere around the 10 minute mark and responding for about 7 minutes, so we can safely assume that he took around 2-3 to three minutes of her video, seeing that her video is around 4 minutes, because Baz admitted that he skipped a few parts. So I think it's safe to say that this one is sound, correct? And finally, 4. The effect of use upon potential market. Now, this one, she is saying that she's losing views because of Bazfit's video on her. But there is a problem that I see here. Like stated before, she has an average between 800 views to 2,000 views. There's only two videos with the span of four months that she broke out of her average view rate, which is What the Fuck is Disability Fetish and Disabled and Dating. But before then, her videos were around the 4,000 view mark, with the exception of two videos, which is her oldest videos. Ever since then, she's been declining in views even before Bazfiz has made any video about her. In fact, it seems that his video response towards her is the reason why she has at least 2,000 views on one of her most va hated videos. Now, I found the graph of her views per each of her videos, which is not hard to do. Just click on her statistics and you'll see results. Keep in mind that this is her view count before, during, and after the video was made, and clearly there was a spike in views. Compared to other videos such as What to Say to Sick People and her latest video, there is no spike in views, but rather a steady flow of views. Meaning that this ac accusation that Bazfiz is taking away views from her videos is false because she's been losing views even beforehand. And Bazfiz provided more views for her due to the spike in views. So in the end, she has abused the flagging system because of one excuse. And before she flags me down, because who knows what her response is, let me inform you that my video also falls into fair use. Once again, I will state the four factors. One, the purpose, which is criticizing someone's behavior and to show fair use. Two, the nature of the copyright work, seeing that the video is non-fictional and falls under the bonds of fair use. 
three amounts and substantially, which I use about six minutes of her videos. But the video responding to her is most likely around three times the original length. And four, seeing that I'm not as popular and I have very little influence to affect someone unless, of course, the likes of, say, Buzz, BuzzFizz, or any other larger channels that shares this video, which then results of getting more than 1,000 views, and then which results of her getting more views, possibly getting more dislikes with the occasional likes up. So there is no way in the world I can take away views, just make her look differently in a different spotlight. Now, this is not normally my typical video because it's not my style to go into deep research. And I mean really deep research. Something around Teal Deer's territory. But seeing that this is a very serious issue at hand, I must go into this. Now that it's over, I can go back making videos that is more committed than leaving in a more serious note. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out. Uh, this is a quick video update. Um... You know, just a quick add-on to this video. Um, now, there might be a chance that this person, Hot Pink Sun, might flag me down. Because, you know, it's not transformative enough. And you know what? Um, it's a possibility. So, it's better safe than to be sorry. So, if you ever plan to make a mirror of my video the one that you're watching right now, then, you know, you have my permission to do so. But first you gotta tell me that you're mirroring my video. And then after that, you may mirror my video. Um, and you can make money off of it too. I don't care if you make, you know, hundreds or thousands of dollars of that one video. All I ask in return is that you send a link, you know, you, you leave a link in the description of the original video so, uh, that way, you know, I get the credibility. You're giving me, you know, um, you know, the attention that, that is required. Um, and if the video does get taken down, I will try my very best to, um, to, like, uh, leave some sort of link to download it, so that way, um, you can uh, mirror it yourself, or I might, you know, place it on some other website. But that, that's, you know, about it. So, you know, just this is just in case you do plan to mirror my video. Just let me know, alright? So, I'll see you guys later.